Mello don't miss, and Mello is him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title lanes and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Tonight might just be Carmelo Hayes' next big victory. It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. This superstar has a tall order in Carmelo Hayes tonight. Melo's proven to be a very adaptable opponent, so this guy needs to be on his toes. Lips lately, L.A. Knight. It's been a long journey for him, but he's at the top of his game now. L.A. Knight has proved positive that being true to yourself is the best way to succeed. Taking control of his destiny has shown everyone what L.A. Knight is truly capable of. Yeah, Byron, and I don't think he's ever going to be done proving himself. And opposite the ring is Carmelo Hayes. And guys, you watch Carmelo, and the first thing you notice is how effortless this all is to him. Some might take issue with his attitude, but you can't say he doesn't deliver. Some people were born to do this, and by all appearances, Carmelo Hayes is one of them. Corey, I don't know that there's a cockier superstar in all of WWE than LA Knight. First of all, it's called confidence, Cole. But I will admit, it could possibly be used against LA Knight here, because this match may just come down to who's more focused. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, 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 oh. Girl. And a reversal by LA Knight. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. No, oh, someone call a dentist. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Mello's face. He returns to the ring. Still no end in sight here. Big forearm. Slips out of the way. Power slam. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. L.A. Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. Ooh. Catches a punch. Swinging neck breaker. Knew what was coming there. 
He'll take things into the ring. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Up and down. What a slam. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Springboard drop kick. Stiff punch. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh my gosh, what impact! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Uh oh! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. And that was a well-executed attack. Sharp blow to the neck. Two. And he gets set back into the ring. Three. Big impact off the neck breaker. And up the turnbuckles we go. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. From the top, diving double axe handle. Cover, cover. It's still hanging on. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Punch connects. And he saw that coming from Knight. Sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. All the momentum has swung tonight. Carmelo's not showing the capacity to fight back. Hayes quick to counter. Carmelo's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Hayes was being tested and was finally able to get some offense of his own in. Drop kick right to the spine. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Up on the turnbuckle now. What on earth do they have planned here? Trying to rally the WWE fans heading back to the ring. Oh my goodness, can you believe that? Leaping! Looking for the victory! Two! And he fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. A calculating look has come across Knight's face. Saw that one coming. Taking off from the ropes! These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Oh! Heading up, he's thinking big! He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Up high! the one shows that this is still anybody's match at this point big forearm Put the arm for a fujiwara arm bar ah oh, fujiwara arm bar applied carmelo hayes gonna turn it super oh my goodness what a cutter that could be curtains for night He's still in this fight. I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder, how much more can he take? And you got to think that all the plans are out the window after that. Look at this! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Drop kick. He deflects it right back. Hayes 
on the wrong side of that. LA Knight B. of victory only to have it snatched away this match just keeps getting more and more exciting will that be the last opportunity is there still enough left in these men look at this crowd it's insanity in here bedlam and a Oof. stop to the gut too Ooh, right to the arm oh right to the kidneys Golly. so much damage inflicted Oh, that might have just broken something. Knight in a state of distress. L.A. Knight struggling a bit. His confidence is being used against him right now. Off the top. Diving arm drag. I like yours better, Cole. And Knight is finally changing the tempo with that attack. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Stops whatever their opponent was planning. Looking to turn the tables in spectacular fashion. From across the ring. My goodness, what leaping ability. Into the superplex. And you have to think moves like that are why L.A. Knight is so confident. Just one of many reasons. Knight is the real deal in every sense of the word. L.A. Knight, BFT. Carmelo won't come back from that. Two. It's over. L.A. Knight scores the victory. Here is your winner. Frustrating loss there. Hayes just wasn't able to get the win tonight, but not for a lack of trying. Get ready for some higher learning. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Thea Hale, at a combined weight of 469 pounds, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson Chase University. Saxon, why don't you go try out as a cheerleader for Chase U? I did already. They said no. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa 
and Johnny Gargano, D.I.Y. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. And we're about to see that passion on display. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, collectively known as DIY, ready for action. That acronym is for Fuel Ciampa and Gargano. They were never... And into the count. Stops the ref count before two. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Check this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's gonna love this. Doom Buster! I am not exaggerating when I say careers have been ended by less. Oh, and that startles Johnny. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Tagged in. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Great wherewithal from Chamba. Tags him in. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. And that DDT was well delivered. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Oh, oh, DDT! Talk about devastation. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Talk about being bent. And Duke pays for leaving an opening. Planted neck first. Goes into the pin. Close line. One, two, three. 
It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh. Draped over the top rope. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Have you ever seen it? And he goes for the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Close call, but not enough yet. <sighs> Hooked up. DDT. Champa is in some serious trouble. Champa needs to rely on his intensity here. Down with force. Hits him with the counter. Momentum isn't completely out of Champa's side just yet. We might have just seen the U-turn Champa needed in this match. Right on the arm. Tag switching it up. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Boom! Slam with authority. Johnny Gargano hyping up the crowd. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. He's looking a little off balance. More action like that might allow Hudson to get the job done. Tornado DDT. Talk about devastation. Jarring impact. He's tagging out. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Champa looking to end this right here, right now. Fairy tale ending. That could put Duke down for good. He kicked out at two. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. Champa threw almost everything he could at this, but it could not close it out. What next? Two, three, three. Oh, drop kicked all the way to the floor. Duke Hudson calling on the WWE Universe to fuel him. Backdrop suplex. Duke taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Oh my God, a DDT! Spiked him. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Able to get there in time. Oh man, that was nasty. Chopper with a well-timed shot. Both wrists captured. Man, knee strike. Uh-oh. SOS. And Champa bearing the full force of that attack. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Back with a crucial elbow. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. He is delivering elbow after elbow. There he goes, right into the corner. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. The first row. Oh, oh, just breaking down the opponent. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, as Champa was showing just what he is willing to do to get ahead here. Comes in off the tag. Some showboating from Johnny Gargano here. He made it. Tag made. All right, Hurricane Rana. Going 
right after the neck. Neck breaker. Hudson's able to dodge that. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Face full of turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Johnny finding it up. Oh, there may be no escape. Rodriguez got it six down. Oh, and I thought they had it won, but he makes the save. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. for Chase U with this loss. DIY should take a lot of pride in this win. It took hard work and in-ring know-how, but they pulled it off. is completely uncalled for. And the official can't even restore any yes. sort of control. Here comes the backup. Get some more help out here. This superstar's out of control. You might need to call the local police department. They knew what they were doing. I don't even think this opponent can get into this match. Not at all. I mean, this competitor just got ambushed. This isn't right. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. And that toss set them soaring. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And Del Toro may have felt that coming. And he finds an answer for Gallows. A oh, snap mare. Oh, big boot. Well executed arm drag. Ow! Oh. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Step, coach screw, plunge under the outside. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen, but admittedly, like many big men, Luke Gallows is a bit limited in his arsenal. I wouldn't go that far, Cole. Gallows has a lot of speed and agility for a man nearing seven feet tall. Walking the tightrope. Tightrope drop kick. Close line. And a second. This superstar building momentum. Sweeping the leg. He thinks he has it. No, kicks out. That was a long two count there. He takes 
lost control. He isn't taking this line down anymore. Luke isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to it. As this rivalry has grown more and more intense, the reason has gone right out the window. That happens when a feud is allowed to fester like this one has. Yeah, there's no telling what we might see tonight. There's just so much rage and resentment in the ring. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Headed to the top rope. Look at the athleticism of the... Oh, consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Rope step, corkscrew plancha. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, and a stop. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Oh, man. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. A oh, club with the right forearm. Ooh, man. Close line to the back of the neck. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Taking hold of Del Toro here. With a good brother slam. Where Gallows ended here. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. Though you got to believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Enabled to counter. Luke's in serious danger. Somehow he kicked out. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. You got to imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. He got whipped into that corner. And Del Toro may have felt that coming. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, right to the throat. Competition at its finest. This is what it's all about. Yeah, these competitors are refusing to... A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. And the bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. Oh, oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. He reverses it. Strang gets put on Cruz there. Yeah, Gallo somehow sustaining the advantage despite everything he's been through. Cruz is facing a beatdown. Gallows has just been unloading on his opponent with everything he has here. Ooh, well measured. Saved by a well-placed knee strike. Hammering down on the knee. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Top rope. Cruz Del Toro, 450. Del Toro putting all those tools to good use. Really making the most. What a match, and we've got company. Well, let the mind games begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Oh. Training blows back and forth. Oh, stage it finally. We've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. All the cops keep these two apart.
Time to wake up because you can't sleep on Wendy Chu. Well, it's easy to discount her and her napping ways, but trust me, Chu is the real deal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Uh, Wendy Chu doesn't want to hide her uniqueness, so she chooses to embrace it. Is she ready for a competitor like Bailey, who's always in control? She looks like it right now, but we won't know for sure until the bell rings. The self-proclaimed role model. A proven role model. And representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey! Ding dong, hello! She has crashed the party and taken the women's division by force. And Bailey now has more muscle by her side than ever. Bailey claims that the locker room needs to learn that the world does not revolve around them because it's the role model's world and we're just living in it. Do we have to? We'll see if she'll rely on her skill or shortcuts tonight. Ooh, Cole, you are gonna get such a scolding tonight. And we begin with a superstar who I can't really make heads or tails of, and that's Wendy Chu. Nine times out of ten, Wendy Chu's doing an impression of the audience when Saxton talks. But when that alarm clock hits, there are very few competitors as efficient and unorthodox as she is. She's really becoming one of my favorites to watch. I think a lot of people would agree with you, Corey. But you have to imagine, Bailey isn't going to let any of that affect her performance here tonight. Partially because she's just that self-absorbed, but also because she knows... The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night-night. Sleeper hold. Oh, can she get out of this situation? Rolls over. And does. What a counter. Close line. What a counter. You can't prepare your face for that. And Wendy moves. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Oh, a jumping arm breaker. Dropping the elbow. Nice Japanese arm drag. Turns it around, sole of the foot meets the stomach. Oh, that backfired on her. Uh oh, four gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine. Gotta find a way out of the guillotine. They're not gonna last long. Well, with a bridge and out. Incredible. Nice running crossbody. She's still as determined as ever. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. Wendy is unable to stop any attack. This is Bailey looking at her best. Oh, the reversal by Chu. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Bailey's not looking so confident after taking that attack. A ferocious Wendy Chu coming out here. Bailey Plex into the corner. She could pin her opponent right here. That'll be a win.
So she's uh, enjoying her victory tonight. But a scowl on her face. Wait, what, what, is sure. what, what is she doing? What is she looking at? Uh, a chair. No. No, put, put that chair down. She already won the match. Hasn't enough damage been done? Not when there's an issue this deeply personal. But oh, thank, thank goodness. goodness. Had she not been here, who knows what would have happened. Uh, here we go now, tag team action. And this is going to be a big time matchup. A oh, long time behind. coming. Oh, and look at the ambush. What the heck? A blatant sneak attack before the opening bell. This match might not even happen. It shouldn't happen. There's no way these two can compete now. Wait, are they? Are they yeah, really I think gonna we're go? actually gonna have a match here. No, this, this just is... isn't smart. Guys, how smart is this? It's not smart at all, Cole. These two were just attacked from behind, laid to waste, and now they think they're gonna compete against fresh opposition? No way. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper. Can she do it here? Tag is made. Oh, spike face first. Chelsea one step ahead. It seems like that slam might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Watch her set up in the corner. Ooh! She's tagged in. Has them hooked, looking for sliced bread. Oh, cover. She kicks out with authority after two. She is still, maybe not. to escape before the three count. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Ooh, what a forearm club. A uh, double face buster. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Partner tags in. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. Boom. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get a fully run? A single leg camel clutch and a great hook. Oh man. Ooh. And she goes for the pin. And there's the save.
jumping elbow drop. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. after that. Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. The competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Counters out. Horse forearm draped across the middle row. And down. Oof. Cade and Carter tearing up the intimidation factor. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Oh, no. Oh, look at the power leg breaker. Gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Tagging her partner in. Ooh, face first. Well scattered reversal there. Into the corner now. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. Here's a cover. Could be it. No, she kicks out. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. He is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh, Northern right suplex. So she tags in, reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Kick to the gut. Set up. Canadian destroyer. And Roxanne being aligned into position. <laughs> Locking up the arms from behind. I'm prettier. Did Chelsea get enough of it? That's gotta be Whoa. it. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start of a comeback? The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Oh, good night. Sorry. Impressive reversal there. She's forced onto the defensive now. Tilt the world head scissors. Got the tag. Got the tag. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. She's going for it. Strong kick out in one. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. Tag. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Rock 
with the point of the elbow. Up and the Jericho driver. That can do Carter in. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. We're witnessing insanity. These superstars are chasing glory. But who will reach their breaking point first? Who can hold on? Oh, golly. Devastating teamwork. Ooh, bullseye. Uh-oh. Counters right back on Chelsea. Punch! herself up, reaching out, and that's it. Scores the win for the team. Here are your winners. The team of Kaden Carter and Roxanne Perez. What a battle this was, but the win is secured despite the unexpected events that transpired earlier. Definitely a hard-won victory. Would have been a slightly easier win without that unexpected attack. Well, let's just focus on the positives here. It's fight night! Three men born and bred to throw down. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, accompanied by Ridge Holland and a combined weight of 472 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and Butch, the Brawling Bruce. 
Ridge, Holland, Sheamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Yeah, you could say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The brawling brutes are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. And their opponents, accompanied by Valhalla, and a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. You can just feel the ferocity of this trio. Yeah, Eric and Ivar are vicious as it is, but when you add Valhalla, it's even worse. Her presence certainly alters things. It's almost like she awakens their bloodlust. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. And we are about to witness a vicious exhibition of combat with the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Odin's favorite sons raid and get paid is the order of the day for these two utter powerhouses with the motor and athleticism of men half their size. Plus, I hear ladies love Ivar. I've heard that as well, Corey, but let's just hope they stick to the raid part for this match and take it from there. And the brawling brutes are absolutely here looking for a fight because as you would say, Cole, it's fight night. They're ready to bruise and they're ready to batter. They're ready for a brawl. That is the brute's way and they love it. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Boom! Incredible suplex. Wait, 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 wait! And a kick out before the count even begins. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. He saw it coming, taking advantage. with that one I was only thinking about dominance tag is made and here we go oh god what an elbow uh-oh and it's reverse pain for that mistake Kicks out. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Producing a trampling. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Some of his win now. An attack from the Viking Raiders that would make O 
Odin Proud. Eric is pumped up and letting the crowd know he's here to get it done. And tag, he's in now. Finally. And he sends him into the corner. A stalemate of counters. Around the waist. Power! Spinebuster! Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Turns that away. What a crossbody. Just, and here's a cover. He gets the shoulder up at two. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Looking to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh no, this is gonna be hard to watch. Ah, agonizing. Oof. Great wherewithal on the counter. Gets the tag. Excellence to get the victory.
the czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds. The NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov. This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. With that trademark unflinching gaze, there is no telling what's going through the mind of the czar of WWE. Taking out a competitor like Dragunov is always unnerving. Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jey. You know, you got to think Jay's in a precarious position, not having the safety net of his brother or his cousin. But ever since he's broken away, he's earned main events and has even won more titles. He has truly become the main event. Man, I can't wait to see Jey Uso yeet some fools. No yeet. We don't do that, Saxton. Especially I do. you. No. Yeet. Yeet. Ilya Dragunov. Now this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to... Is it enough? Stops the count before it, too. I think this match still has a ways to go. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Elbow throw saying not today. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. Gets out of there in a hurry. Yeah. Hung out to dry. Ooh. That's right. Put your ones up in the air for main event Jey Uso. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. There's some power behind that punch. What a clothesline. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Stomping down. And Dragunov's resiliency is tested with that attack. Attacks like that one will continue to get Jay his respect. Over the last few years, main event Jey Uso has really come into his own as a solo competitor, wouldn't you say? 
I agree wholeheartedly, Cole, but his best work is still done alongside his brother. Jay has a lot of tag team tendencies that don't fade very easily, so it's important to keep him overwhelmed. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. He turns it around. Rapid fire, Samoan drop. What now? Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Look at this, raining right hands. No escape from these punches. Stumps. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Paying it right back with a reversal. Sleeper holds it and just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. is, will he be able to reignite it moving forward?
He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker ready to dominate. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. I sure hope he understands what he's getting into when he steps in the ring with Roman Reigns. Yeah, Reigns' inimitable power could represent the end game for this superstar. The most dominant group in WWE history, the Bloodline. A group who will do anything to maintain their grip on WWE. And that means constantly obliterating the competition. Well, tonight will be no different. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. The mood just changed here intimidation level off the charts it's not a matter of respect the bloodline prefers being feared and there is plenty to fear when it comes to their physicality and we're about to see even more of that tonight facing an opponent seemingly invulnerable to intimidation in Braun Breaker yeah this man has got to keep from being intimidated by Breaker The bell rings, and guys, you can just see the intensity in Braun Breaker's eyes, can't you? 
Absolutely, Cole. Breaker always brings a powerful mix of strength and intensity to the ring. And tonight should be no different. He's like a dog with a bone when he gets going. Like father, like son, some could say. And with Roman Reigns, he constantly talks about his dominance in this division, in this industry. And time and time again, he absolutely backed it up. No matter how you feel about his tactics, you cannot deny that. You don't get this dominant without doing anything you have to do to secure the win, Saxton. The head of the table recognizes that. And a series of vicious stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Attacking the knee. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Two. Insulting. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, right to the gut. Reigns is trying to pick his opponent apart physically and mentally. Shoulder tackle. Standing moonsault gets all of it. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Roman Reigns sits on the mountaintop of this business. And of all the things that have gotten him this far in his career, you can't deny how important confidence has been for him. That overwhelming belief in himself and his abilities has been a large part of his success, and he can never let that falter. I'd expect that confidence of Romans to play a big part in this match here. Uh-oh, Forearm going to cut off the win, putting his opponent to sleep with the guillotine. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. getting his shoulder up in time. And after all that, Roman Reigns still has an end to this battle. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Sit out, powerball. Really just laying it in. He is looking to do some serious harm. This match grinded him down a little. Unhinged offense from Breaker's arsenal. Nicely done. For the win! Shoulders up before two. There is no quit in this man tonight. Going for a power slam, slips down from behind into an inverted DDT. Suplex, here it comes. Delivering the suplex. Able to reverse that one. Inverted DDT. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Boom! Military press power slam. May have just vanquished Reigns. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. A kick out, and Reigns is still in this. The big dog. Still has some fight left. And Breaker cannot believe that wasn't enough to put him away. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Shifts it back onto him. A picture-perfect moonsault. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Reigns sizing up the target. Spear! No coming back from Reigns after that. That's gotta be it. Two count. Roman Reigns picks 
picks up a strong victory. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. A man who calls himself the now, Austin Theory. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude, too. Theory is due, but he has a habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And his opponent from Dayton. Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! He was known as a tag team competitor before joining WWE, even won the Dusty Classic and NXT Tag Team Championships early in his WWE career. But now has grown as a singles competitor too, winning the NXT North American Championship even. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air of the display like none other. Theory here, a superstar who loves to get under his opponent's skin, loves to just grind their gears. Look, Cole, Theory can't help it if he's just so preternaturally talented that it makes everyone else jealous. They're just embarrassing themselves, getting so worked up about it, and Theory just so happens to take pleasure in embarrassing his opponents. Yeah, tonight should be no different for Theory. Wesley standing across from him, and it's hard not to root for this kid. He's really found himself as a single star. Came to WWE as part of a unit, forced to go out on his own and put his foot on the gas. He's become a superstar that WWE Universe can be proud of. He does whatever it takes to succeed, and the results are speaking for themselves. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, no, getting in position. What's he planning to do? A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. There's the sling blade. And a base. 
Ultimate drop kick. Austin Theory has such an instinct for the ring. How do you find an answer for those natural talents, Corey? If you're waiting for Austin Theory to make a rookie mistake, it won't happen. You have to seize control of the matchup and force him out of his comfort zone. Boom, what impact! Drop kick! Oh, right in the back. And Austin is a bit staggered after that attack. Rope-assisted drop kick. Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Just mounted with punches. And, not, and Wes has to be concerned with the blood starting to cascade down his face. Set up in the corner of the ring. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. And another just non-stop aggression. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Fisherman suplex, nice. Picture perfect drop kick. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Throwing down punches and counters out. And you can just feel the contempt, the venom these superstars have for each other. It's been fueling them for weeks, and they show no signs of slowing down. No signs of slowing down, even though they absolutely should. Robberies like this, they, they never end well for either party. Theory's got a plan to end this. He saw that one coming. Look at that. For the win. Two. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Good night. What a stunner. Picked oh. up. Back drop suplex. Trying their opponent's arm out. There's a double stop right down the arm. Pulls the ripcord. Ripcord knee. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Talk about dismantling your opponent. West showcasing his strength. Yeah, Theory's getting forced out of his comfort zone here in his opponent. Beautiful takedown. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fire. He's trying to break out and does it. Great agility. Back to the back of the net. Sends their opponent to the middle of the ring. Handstand into a Pele kick. Wes with a big time move. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. One on one, here we go. Oh, and a low blow. Using Into the, the cage as a weapon. It's a jarring impact. <laughs> 